Unbelievable! Secrets of life inside SpaceX Starship Revealed If you have been following space developments closely, then you must have heard about Starship. The concept behind Starship is groundbreaking, since it offers Earth dwellers, for the first time, to use the same spacecraft to travel back to Earth. But there are many other aspects of this revolutionary space tech that have not been discussed in detail. In this video, we will talk about those almost fantastic facilities, which one can find inside the Starship. So, stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! Now, one noticeable feature of all the spacecrafts before Starships were that these were like seats attached to a rocket engine. This means that comfort was impossible to find on these space vessels, and rightly so, because luxury is the last thing on the mind of these astronauts. The latest Orion spacecraft is so cramped that it is not possible for a person to stand up straight in the command module. The Starship is a welcome change in this regard. It features a height of almost 400 feet and a diameter of 30 feet. It is also the world's most powerful launch vehicle to date, with a payload capacity of 150 tons fully reusable. It is hoped that one day, this vessel will transport thousands of people across the solar system to a habitable planet, which humans can colonize. Pop culture has set the expectations high of what we could potentially see inside the Starship. The USS Enterprise gave each crew member a luxury quarter to every crew member so that they could travel in luxury. But in other movies, we see the crew members struggling to keep their stuff private, such as in the Millennium Falcon in Star Wars. The SpaceX Starship would be aiming to strike a middle ground between these two extremes. It will be enough to make interplanetary travel tolerable, but not luxurious enough to give each crew member enough space to call it home. How many crew members would the SpaceX Starship have? The reason why this question is so important is because with each additional crew member, the resources required to sustain them would also increase. This question is complicated because it is much more than just fitting a certain number of people in a specific square feet of area. This is also pertinent because each member requires some space to alleviate symptoms of claustrophobia. This means that the concept of space is really important for determining the size of the crew. Fit too many people in, and they might feel cramped, and if you don't fit enough people in, then people might get depressed due to a lack of human contact. Most experts have said that having around 10 crew members is the best fit. Elon Musk actually wants to send in 100 people at one time, which is not the most sound advice at this point. The lower space of the Starship is dedicated to having rocket-related stuff. For instance, six vacuum engines push the vessel from low Earth orbit towards the next planetary destination. Propellant tanks are located above it, and on top of that, we have the cargo and crew section. The remaining 17 meters in length is divided in six vertical levels, with more space allocated for cargo bays and lower space afforded to the crew section. This will make for about 2.5 meters of space till ceiling, which should be enough while floating around. While making a vertical landing on Mars, having the space makes a lot of sense. Now, in the introduction of this video, we mentioned that the Starship is 400 feet tall. This means that the power system, generators, and life support systems are all housed at the lower levels. Moving through such a tall system would require a lift. Now, on level 2, we can expect to see food storage and life essentials. We can even expect to see a hydroponic garden which can be used to grow vegetables and fruits in limited quantities. The third level is ideal for housing a gym and physical fitness equipment. Physical fitness is of paramount importance when we are talking about an interplanetary journey. Individuals in their physical prime can become astronauts. Even so, maintaining cardiovascular health is of top priority. And so, stationary bikes and resistance machines can help in this regard. There will be no post-workout showers since faucets really don't work in a zero-gravity environment. Instead, they use dry shampoo and wet towels to clean themselves. We can also expect to see some additional amenities since SpaceX has been working on its zero-g toilet for quite a bit of time. Crew members should not expect to have fully customizable luxury quarters, but they can expect something akin to capsule hotels in Japan. On level 5, we can expect to have a common area. This would be the area where the nose has begun to taper in, but there would still be enough space for people to roam about. Again, this would not be a luxury space, but enough for people to spitball some ideas. On the command deck, astronauts are expected to just take their seats for the launch and landing. All the wiring and plumbing would be run through each level with the help of a center column. This would also help in connecting each level. On low orbit, the astronauts will still have the capability to use the internet. This would give them an opportunity to reconnect with humanity. 
However, as the interplanetary distance increases, it will become increasingly difficult to communicate since at halfway distance between Earth and Mars, a simple message will take 10 minutes to reach its destination and then another 10 minutes to get a response. The real question is, how do we keep the lights on and the air conditioners running? There are no simple answers. Some of the scientists think that they will be able to do it with harnessing solar energy. Starships will have eight primary solar wings, which would be 112 by 39 feet. But this solution works only if the panels are near the sun. If the starship is away from direct sunlight, then it might need to rely on batteries. This is something which Tesla has already made a great deal of headway in. But it would be interesting to see if their solution would fit the needs of Starship as well. That concludes today's video. Please give this video a huge thumbs up and thanks for watching till the end. See you in the next one.